So what does it mean for girls to give voice to the voiceless? I do believe as girls and who become women, that we have an uncanny and unique role in affecting community. Whether it be the children we have in our own personal families or the communities that we're a part of, whether in our church or our community organizations or our schools, we have an amazing ability to bring forth collaboration and relationship building that can lead to changing the world. So we can also do relationship building in the negative, right? That's often what we hear people refer to as the mean girls click. If we could channel our energy, as I say to, I'm raising two boys, I always say to them, use your power for good, right? If we can channel our energy, think about the things that matter the most to us. What things are impacting us as girls in a way that could be seen as negative or that is holding us back? And if we can collaborate and bring our power together and become a voice that stands against that, we can make real change, which is what we've done in the area of sex trafficking. Sex trafficking impacts boys and girls. It impacts girls to a greater degree in many cities such as Atlanta. And so many women in the city of Atlanta began to realize before 2000 that this was an issue we had to confront. And so we began working in collaborative alliances. Women from the corporate sector, from the sports sector, from the entertainment sector, from the nonprofit world said, we have got to make a change. And so we became a voice for the young girls who were victims and the young boys who were victims of sex trafficking in ways that they could not be a voice for themselves. When we did that, others began to listen. We began to become influencers in a way, even though sex trafficking may not have impacted our household, we knew that we had to stand for something. And truly, one of my favorite subjects in school was history. I learned that from Harriet Tubman. Once Harriet Tubman gained her freedom from slavery, it wasn't good enough for her to just be free. She had to go back into the bowels of slavery to set hundreds of others free. That's what we all must do today.